Aquaculture contributes roughly half of global seafood production and one-fifth of animal protein intake for nearly half of the world's population. Many of the gains in farm production can be attributed to advances in technical research which increase yields around the world. But if we want to shape a more sustainable and equitable growth of aquaculture, we have to better understand how the industry is organised from production to trade and consumption. Luckily, this is changing. In our special issue in the journal Aquaculture, we brought together 19 papers from around the world to identify five current trends that are currently shaping the development of the global aquaculture industry. First, we see that aquaculture production and trade is predominantly located in domestic markets in the global south, in particular in Asia and Africa. It's in these markets that we see an increasing demand for aquaculture products and we will continue to see demand into the future. Second, the growth of aquaculture cannot be divided into categories of industrial versus small scale or intensive versus extensive production. Instead, we have to understand production at a range of scales and levels of intensity that together play a role in increasing overall production and indeed wealth for farmers. Third, the growth and organisation of the industry is driven by changes in the wider global food system, linked, for instance, to urbanisation and associated diet change. Fourth, we see growing attention on issues of equity and environmental performance in the aquaculture industry. Who, for instance, is included and excluded from value chains? And whose values around environmental sustainability are most influential in shaping production practices? Finally, attention is also being given to how technical and institutional innovation can improve production and trade. This includes technical efficiency, productivity and profitability, but it also includes environmental impact and social equity. These emerging themes in aquaculture research also show us what still needs to be done. There's more research, for example, that needs to be done on the role of China, the largest producer globally, both domestically as well as through its international reach. There's also more work to be done on revealing changing demand and consumption practices of farmed and wild caught fish all around the world. And we've only just started to scratch the surface when it comes to understanding the disruptive role of online retailers like Alibaba and Amazon, or indeed new technologies like blockchain. Finally, there's still a long way to go to understand how aquaculture value chains can contribute to more circular use and reuse of material waste flows. In short, we've made progress, but there's still a long way to go before we really understand how aquaculture can sustainably meet the estimated forecast of 93 million tonnes which are needed by 2030. Mm -hmm.